Percy, get that thing out of the sheds. Ah, but I want to keep him. That's right. You can't keep that thing. He doesn't even look like an engine. What on earth is that thing? He's a wood train. Ah, burn wood. Wait a minute. He's supposed to be a logging engine. Well, yeah, he burns wood. I do. Okay, Percy, we have Henry, who's a big nature lover, as he has his own forest, and he'll break his heart if we cut down the trees for him here. And Henry's about as cognitive as us both. I don't think he'll appreciate this. He's not cognitive. How can you know that? You can't be serious. I mean, look at him. That's right. You realize all this does is prove that he's an engine that needs special attention. I'll be wrong for you to keep him as a pet, like in every moral standard. Thomas, I don't have a moral compass. I have my driver. Okay, well, I'm speaking to the fat controller about this and to send him back home, and then you and I are having a serious talk. No, don't do that. The people on my old railway will finally get rid of me and there'll be no more. No. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. People will get rid of you? Well, yeah. I'm escaping from scrap. He's escaping from scrap? Well, yeah, I met him when he arrived on Sonor. How did he end up arriving on On a ship to the docks. So then, he's here because he's escaping from scrap. What do you expect? Please. Fine. Yay! But we're still talking about how you framed this as having a pet. Don't worry, I promise I'm ashamed. That's a good engine.